Today I'm going to show you how to set up Robot C. So go down to the icon Robot C 4.0 and we'll double click to open that. And I'm going to click to get rid of this. And the first thing that you always want to do is go up to Robot and check the platform type. You have to be in VEX 2.0 Cortex. Yours might not show up here, so just click down to VEX Robotics, VEX 2.0 Cortex. And you also need to check and make sure the natural language is selected. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to show you what happens. Now it has a check mark. So if it has a check mark by it already, you're good to go. So that's the first step is your language. Um, Cortex communication mode, yours might say something a little bit different. I've noticed that half the computers say a little different here. Uh, we're just going to leave this as it is right now. Um, but ultimately, you're going to want to set this to USB only. For our test setups, um, our test beds, you can just leave it as it is. Uh, the next thing we need to do is a new file. So I'm going to click new file and you need to paste in your PLTW code right here. I'm in Schoology, I'm in Unit 2, and Lesson 2 Setting Up Robot C has the PLTW code, so you're going to come back to here often. I can just click and drag this and copy it, and then click and drag this and delete it, and then I'm going to replace it with that. So now I have my um, my title blocks and I can type in a task description and pseudocode which we are going to be doing. Um, everything should be set up at this point except for motors and sensors so click the motors and sensors tab and right now there's nothing in here it's all blank so you could type the name of your motor let me call this one pigskin I'm gonna call this one french fry no, actually I shouldn't do that I'm gonna call it capitalize so I'm gonna show you a couple things here when you label these motors uh, you should make them descriptive. So if you have a motor that drives the wheels, you might want to call it Drive Capital M Motor. So if you have, oops, if you have two words, the second word, um, the first letter of the second word is capitalized, as in Drive Motor. Um, if you have another motor that um, is a lift motor, then maybe I would type it in as Lift Capital Motor, Lift Motor. Make it descriptive. So that's the syntax that you're going to use. We're going to take a shortcut here instead of typing all of them in and choose PoE and SIM testbed. And that should be a picture of what you just created. And then if I click apply, you can see it adjusted our code here in the background. This is kind of a block that has all of them pre-typed in for you. And you can see they follow our syntax. The first letter of the second word is capitalized. There's no spaces. So motors, uh, line follower, capital letter there, light sensor, capital letter, and bump switch or limit switch, bump switch, and so on. Um, so that sets up everything for you. Now to get over to actually see how to use your code, if you click the plus under natural language, and if this isn't showing up for you yet, you might need to go to robot compile and download. You can see that that's an F5. Um, that's one way you can get to it, is just push F5 on your keyboard. That's probably the quickest way. You can also use these buttons here, compile, and then click download. I like to hit F5. Now it tells me I have to save this first, so let me save it. You should save it into your VEX Robotics folder. I'm going to save it into my desktop, and this is, um, I'm just going to call this um, Robot Setup. And click Save, because there's no code written in here. You can see that um, the code should occur between these two braces. Now if you get this error that says the firmware is out of date and has to be updated, um, then we need to update it. And so we're going to go to Robot, Download Firmware, Manually Update. Remember, you can pause and review this. Master CPU first. So we'll update the Master CPU. It might take a little bit to finish this. Finish, 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 finish this. And then we got to do the same thing after it finishes. Then let's go to Download Firmware, Manually Update. And now we do Robot C. So we did Master CPU first. Then we do Robot C. You're not using the joystick, so you don't do the third one. So we'll download and update that one. Um, and this should only happen maybe one time uh, that you have to do this a couple times in the semester, perhaps. If you get some errors and you can't figure out what's going on, I would always go to the downloading firmware or the downloading the Robot C or Master CPU firmware. That seems to help reset the computer. Uh, so we should be good at this point. Now we can do our F5. And it compiles and downloads. And you can see that we are running a program with nothing in it. So I'm going to click Start. Um, it, nothing happens, but what we can do is we can open up the debugger windows 
and your instructions are going to walk you through this. You click motors in the debugger windows and click sensors and that shows all of your motors and sensors. If I drag this up I can see all of them. In here these are, lines are kind of flashing values here. Uh, with motors if I click on this first one's flashlight, this one is right motor here, I could set this to a value, um, let's say 50, pick a big value, and then hit the enter key and something should happen on your test bed. So I'm going to leave that for you to find out. Uh, but you remember you got to hit the enter key to actually get it to submit. Uh, but then if I want to set it back to zero, zero and hit the enter key, then you can adjust all these. Servos act a little differently. Uh, servos only go a small direction this way and then a direction back the other way, but they hold that position exactly. So keep that in mind when you're working on the servos. And that should be it for setting up Robot C.